and hello again. This time we're looking at an early access game called Blockhood. It's a weird little game. It has the usual mechanics you might expect from a management style game. A range of different buildings that all use and produce you know, a different range of materials and resources that can then be used in a number of different ways as well. But it seemingly operates in a much more, say, cerebral and artistic way that I'm used to. For most management games, it's a puzzle of trying to figure out, you know, optimal processes to combine systems and resources until they begin working in some sort of harmony and then slowly growing this system over time to its maximum capacity. And while you could go about Blockwood in the same way, it just doesn't feel as rewarding nor as interesting with this approach. It was only several hours into play when I realized I had been kind of playing it wrong. I'd been attacking it more like an analytical puzzle, slowly adding every single component to my space and city and growing it into a towering monolith. It felt far too easy at times and not that interesting to really play, stacking blocks on top of each other and just making sure the various systems had enough resources to continue their use. If the systems do fail, the buildings using it will degrade and since you're stacking buildings on top of each other, anything on top can fail as well. Oftentimes this causes a cascade effect, failing all around the city and eventually your city crumbles under that pressure. However, after getting used to the resource types and the different buildings, this kind of thing was actually rather rare. It's just not challenging enough right now. However, this changed when I started treating the game more as a creative endeavor. After looking at several other amazing architectural structures people have been building, I wanted to try one for myself. And this seems to be the, where the game really truly opens up a little bit more. You begin choosing which structures and systems to use rather than all of them at once, creating specialized towers. Then I begin adding, you know, various twists and turns, structural support elements, making more visual and aesthetic additions to the structure. The structures then become more elaborate and oftentimes require more thought as to how to complete, how to grow and how to make them beautiful. And ultimately that kind of approach feels far more rewarding. It is a strange but interesting experience it is still in early access with no plans for a full release just yet and it's constantly growing with new buildings and resource types as well. While I wouldn't recommend it just yet unless you have had those faint dreams of being an architect since you were like eight, <laughs> it's still an interesting experience that is continually growing so maybe check back on it closer to release. Later everyone!